Hello, my name is Olga Bondarenko. I'm a PhD student at Simula Research Laboratory. I will give you an insight into some research on finding thin streams in internet backbone traffic. A question you might want to ask is, what is a thin stream? What we refer to as thin streams is data typically generated by interactive online applications that send small packets at relatively large time intervals. Those are usually sensitive to network latency and have to compete with greedy streams that transfer large amounts of data as fast as possible. Studying traffic behavior and frequency of thin streams may assist in understanding of the throughput latency trade-off and developing mechanisms to provide better resource sharing. Characterizing a traffic flow can be done in different ways. We use payload size, packet interarrival time, flow size and duration for describing stream properties, while RTT is used to estimate connection response time. A simple way to study an application's traffic pattern is capturing all the data it sends and receives on an end system. Then we can easily characterize the flow according to the properties mentioned previously. But what if we would like to analyze the traffic flowing through a bidirectional internet backbone? That introduces some challenges. Such traffic contains millions of flows and does not always include both directions of the same stream. Even a single direction flow might be incomplete due to packets traveling through different network paths. As a result, measuring the same properties becomes more difficult and presenting the statistics on millions of streams in a comprehensible way is not an easy task. However, backbone traces may give a better insight into general traffic patterns on the Internet. None of the trace analysis tools that we found could scale to process very large datasets, so we developed a custom tool for that. Our analysis of backbone traces provided by Cooperative Association for Internet Data Analysis, which contain a one-hour sample for each month of the year, have shown that the majority of the streams are rather short, while streams with small inter-arrival times dominate. Since interactive application flows are typically long-lasting, we only considered flows that last over 30 seconds. Based on properties observed in traffic generated by some TCP games, such as payload size and inter-arrival times, we tried to estimate the proportion of thin streams. The main tasks outstanding for the current project include improving the thin stream estimation model and presenting the results in a paper. Thank you for your attention.